This is an example of a modern day grand piano action. Uh, this one was built by Petrov, a piano that was uh, started in 1864 and still exists today. It looks quite complicated, more than people uh, imagine. It has about 100 parts per key and 30 adjustments per key that affect the what we call the action of the piano. It could be heavy, it could be light. Foremost, we want it to be even. And that is uh, often changed with performance, moving and compacting felts or um, leathers that exist between any given two pieces of wood, and the um, age. The action can be affected by use and or weather conditions, which of course always change during the course of the life of the piano. Uh, felts or leathers that are in between any given pieces of, of two uh, pieces of wood. And that's why there are adjustments that sometimes have to be made to make an equalized feeling on the entire keyboard. It could be overall heavy, it could be light, but foremost you want it to be even. The weight of a key on each piano, each and every key, can be weighed to see how much weight it takes for the key to go down. And then there's another weight, is how much would you have to take off before it comes back up. And that relationship is very important. Some can go down quickly, but up slowly. Otherwise, it can go down slowly and up quickly. The balance is very important. There are personal preferences involved. A long time, the average weight was 52 grams was necessary to make a key go down, and 48 is now sometimes used, which is considerably light. Some kinds of pianists prefer it heavier than 52. That could be adjusted to um, each individual's desire if necessary. The weights are just numbered, like um, 32 on the bottom, and then comes 16, which makes 48 right here. And we just do it on a piano. That's not enough. But we have to put the pedal down on the piano if we're doing it actually, because that lifts the weight of the dampers off. That lifts as the damper pedal is pressed. And then you can see this is abnormally heavy, but this is not a real piano here. I lift that off key comes down. That would be a very heavy action. These are known as key bushings on the front rail and there's different amounts for each key in order to get the right key depth. We can measure that with a little device that by uh, measuring it next to the adjacent key, we can tell if it's even or too deep or not deep enough. And then it can be adjusted by how many types of washers we can put underneath that key. After a while, uh, with compression of these felts, they're going to typically go deeper than you would desire. So then later on in the life of the piano, it's good for the technician to add more of these and bring the key level back up. So you want them very even and just the right amount of depth.